excuses ladies out there episode number 17 i'm inviting you all here today i'm on different platforms as well today because i know that some of you do not have facebook some of you only have instagram and that was the decision that i t totally made it a few weeks ago that i will be going on both well what is really no excuses ladies uh, meeting what is the facebook I consider this a movement and no excuses ladies is a movement. I have big goals, big ideas for this movement and I believe that all of you can benefit from this show. It's just the participation that's required and I see someone else already is there participating, watching me. Thank you so much. So what is really no excuses ladies? What is it? Well, it's, it's, it's a weekly show a weekly meeting that I would like to involve everyone, all of you ladies out there to meet with me here, ask me questions so I, we can get involved and talk about how is to, how is to really uh, learn to apply the no excuses in your life, right? And how to have the no excuses mindset in all different areas of your life so you can succeed succeed move the needle forward in your life in all different aspects and areas this is very important so no excuses i consider this a tribe the no excuses is tribe that it's growing and i see another person is is joining the no excuses tribe is welcoming all the badass uh, ladies out there and all of you who would want to become a badass because i believe that all of you have the capability to do that it's just life sometimes throws a different different things in front of us and we just lose ourselves in all of this thing but i believe that all of you have it but in order for you to really apply it and do it it's a matter of taking action and applying the tools that you need so i will teach you here the tools how to succeed and how to move the needle forward right so you can make the difference in today's world because it's all about making a difference. It's all, it's all about scaling and changing and so many different areas of our life. So hi, Pam. I see you guys joining here. I see uh, Fran is watching. Blanca is here. Very nice. Thank you so much. You can tag a person that really needs it. So today, as always, we start, I wanted to say thank you for showing up and giving your time because this is your precious time. I know how we are busy in our lives, but yet you're giving the time because you wanted to learn something. You you, you come here for a specific uh, reason why you are here. And I would like you to actually write it down why you're here. What made you to decide that you want to join this episode, episode number 17? Why are you here? What is the reason? And also, I wanted to invite you to start doing your AM and PM routine. If this is your first time on this show, scroll down on Facebook, look for the post right here on my feed on Instagram and see what we were doing. Because in the course of so many weeks, we covered so many different topics that can really answer some of the questions I believe you might have right so make sure that you're doing the a.m. p.m. routine because it's very important it's the start of our day now uh, for this upcoming month I have something special for you and I believe that a lot of you would benefit for we got, I'm gonna choose one person one winner who's gonna get a, a free week of coaching with me and this is not just training uh, training I've been doing for over 20 years. We're talking about coaching, the mindset, the mindset that will change your life. You're going to get a free week of coaching. There's going to be one winner who's going to have the, the, the most amount of views on these shows, most amount of comments and really being engaged. So make sure you do that. And of course, again, invite someone uh, for this show. So this is going to happen in April. So in the beginning of May, we're going to have someone. Hi, Melanie. Melanie, how are you? So yes, thank you so much again for watching. And what is really in coaching? I will teach you really the, the tools and the steps to how really uh, set your mindset to positivity, to great attitude. But everything comes with a set of tools. Otherwise, you're not going to know how to move forward. And a lot of us think that, you know, maybe some of you want to lose weight, but yet you don't have the tools. Some people wanted to think more positive or maybe scale in life and then don't have the tools. So we got it. We got you covered. I'm going to figure this out for you. Let's do this together. Now, today's episode is going to be about, I am not a morning person. This is the topic. 
but this is not just one topic. This topic will go in all these different uh, correlations and, and one big, big topic that you're going to learn a lot of today. So stay tuned. Even what I would like you to, to do also throughout this show, have a pen and paper because sometimes things will get, you'll get an idea in your head, something that you can immediately apply to yourself. But then you watch the show and you forget. Even though we say when there is a good idea, the, the idea should stay with you. But our minds nowadays are so busy. I know it from myself that I can have a great idea. That's why I carry the pad with me everywhere I go, even in my car, because sometimes I will get that moment and I need to write it down or record it in my phone because otherwise I will forget. Think about how our minds are busy nowadays, right? So that's very important. Write it down. Write that idea that you are thinking of. And we're going to go back. Actually, I'm going to give you a story because nowadays I get up very early. 5 a.m. I jump out of my bed and I told you this so many times on the topic here. There is not such a thing as me hitting the snooze button, changing the time. I'm up and running. The moment that my feet hit the ground, I know my reason. I know my purpose. I know I am up and about because the world is waiting for me to share this story and to help you. Melanie, I have a ridiculous amount of notes. And yes, writing it down helps. Awesome. Yes, that's right. It, 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 and I'm telling you, and a lot of you, a lot of you out there do not have this. But today I wanted to explain it to you why we should do this. And maybe why you should change to the AM routine, why you should start getting up earlier. But so many of you would like, but you don't know why. And you don't know there are other things involved, like gaining weight when you go to sleep late. And there is a lot of things that I wanted to cover. So going back in time, if somebody would have asked me years ago, probably back at my university, I would have said, I would prefer always study in the morning than late at night. Right? That was one thing. If I had to do a lot of homework, I would never do this late at night. I would go to sleep and get up in the morning, rather at 5 or 6 a.m. and do the homework. But here comes the thing. When we had the first location of Spring Valley, right? We're talking about over, what, 11, 12 years ago, uh, when we actually had the first location in Spring Valley, New York, of uh, Peak Physique Bootcamp and Boxing. And you still can get the three sessions right there on the, on, on the Facebook pages. We, uh, we throw them there so you can follow us with workouts. I, we were working crazy hours. It was just me and Steve. We would go there at 5 a.m. and we would leave the gym at 8.30, 9 p.m., sometimes 9.30. That were the first years of, of uh, the actual location business. And I have to tell you, I would, I would teach a lot of times in the morning and there were long days and I was struggling. I'm talking about being tired. I remember like today, getting up in the morning and thinking, how am I going to go through this day? I would get up thinking and feeling my body shaking from over exhaustion and n not having enough sleep. And I'm sure that some of you have done this. Have you ever had a situation that you had to get up for a certain amount of time so early in the morning because of your work, because of your schedule, but then you felt exhausted, right? It's like you would be so tired throughout the day. And I had this. And then let me tell you why. It was because we never had a routine. We only would would get up. Obviously, we have to get up to go to work, but we never had a routine saying, you know what? By this and this time, we have to go to sleep, so we will have enough of sleep. So when we get up, we feel refreshed. We feel with a lot of energy. And I'm and I wanted to tell you why I'm going into this because this really links to no excuses mindset. Because the high performance and people that want to achieve a lot of in their lives, the ones that have a purpose and 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 uh, reason and the drive. They, they have a lot of on their plate. They get up in the morning just to do the work. So we got to think how we can extend those days, extend the productivity and do the best work, the most creative work in the morning, right? So anyway, going back, 
in time. And nobody knew that we were exhausted. And the reason for it is sim simple because I see Lilia is watching. I see Silva is watching because when I perform, nobody would have known that I'm tired. Well, I can tell you the truth right now. I'm not tired. I'm drinking my Herbalife tea. Silva salutes to you. I have it right here. I hope that you're drinking yours. And for those of you who don't know what the herbal tea is, you better send me a message. Because this stuff saved my day. Yes. Nobody would know because I love what I do. So no matter how, how, how tired I would be, I would perform at my best. But my body was not feeling right. My brain would not feel right. So having the AM and the PM routine is very important. And why? I know that some of you know this because you're smart and you study and you read. We're talking about sleep, the recovery. When your muscle and your brain recovers, when your muscle are actually being built, not throughout the day at nighttime, when the metabolism slows down yet, burns the fat, and you're going to change the way how you look and feel. So sleeping is so important. Sleeping. When you go to sleep too late, you're missing on the important parts of the sleep. And I'm no sleep expert. I can only tell you from my own experience. What I mean is there are phases of the sleep. It's between four to six. I am not going to be going into the parts of it. I just want to tell you that when you go to sleep later, you miss on the important recovery for your brain. You miss on the fact that you go into the, your deep sleep when your brain recovers, when your body recovers, when you, when you actually can. This is important. If you miss on this, the creativity on the day is missed. The fulfillment, the joy, the happiness, the, 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 the energy. That's what I felt. And I don't wish for anyone to do that, but I know that a lot of you do that. You go to sleep too late, you get up semi in the morning, maybe you sleep in, and then you drag the day because you missed on the important part of the phases of the sleep. So today I am challenging you all, at least from Monday to Friday, or start with first day. If some of you go to sleep at 11, Start with increments of 15 minutes or, or a half an hour because 15 might not be enough. Half an hour. Set up the clock for 10.30. Do this at half an hour earlier. Set a reminder on your phone. Go to sleep. Set a reminder on your phone. Take a bath. Take a shower. I hope all of you do that. That you don't go to sleep without taking a bath. No, no, no. We're all taking baths, right? The mom and dad told us to... Kids showers, you better continue with this, all right? Don't be stinky after my workouts, all right? No, no, no. So you have to do this. And I guarantee you that when you get up in the morning, you're going to feel better. First of all, adult needs seven to nine hours of sleep while older people maybe a little bit long. I hit seven and a half. And how do I do it? Because I set my routine. It's just black and white, 9.30, I go to sleep. Did I have in a recent week a little bit later, a later factor of going to sleep when, the, when I was reading to kids a little bit late because they kept me? Of course, but out of the 10 days, I had one night. Because you know what? I will not allow the disturbance of the sleep. I'm going to tell them, you know what? We're not going to repeat this. This happened one time because I need to function really well the next day. I need to function not only for myself, for the world, for you, for everybody else in the household. So I need to get up earlier. I need to go to sleep earlier. And we all turn off the lights. There is no such a thing as staying up because we have a mission as a family. So today I'm challenging you all, go to sleep earlier. Hit the good night sleep so your body is not going to be deprived. Now, another thing is a lot of people, when I do coaching, not only nutrition, not only workouts, but just mindset. It's a common thing with a lot of women out there. I know that you girls done it. You don't get enough sleep. You go to sleep too late. You get up too early or too late. It's just struggling with sleep. And you out of nowhere say, you know what? I gained five pounds, 10 pounds, 15. Yes, not enough sleep leads not only to ob obesity and diabetes and high blood pressure, but it's overall, obviously, it's going to drain you down. 
So if you gain weight, it's most likely because you've been going to sleep late, but it's not that the calories coming from air and you just gain weight. Your body slowed down the process of metabolism is most likely you either function for too many hours, don't eat, then your metabolism goes down, or you function for too long, you have long hours in your day, and you eat crap. That's what it is. You didn't even realize, and you'll be eating uh, extra calories to just keep your brain awake, and then out of nowhere, it's 5 to 10 pounds. Listen, it all comes to one thing. Calories in, calories out. Good food in, and good food out. No, good food in, good calories, and it's not gonna, you're not gonna gain weight. But this usually doesn't come together because you want it to stay awake, so you want sugar. You crave the sugar. So that's why you gain the weight. What else is, what, what, what else really was going on back in the day with me? So till we actually, I have to tell you, till we actually figured this out, it was a struggle. And I know that so many of you have this. And it takes, and I'm going to tell you how you can do this besides going earlier to sleep and getting up earlier. Even in half an hour. I go to sleep around 9.30. That's it. I don't stay up. So how you can apply, how you can learn and shut down the day. How? Obviously, you should not be drinking coffee two or three hours before you go to bed. Shut this down around 4 to 5 p.m. Even though the caffeine stays in your system for six hours, it depends how fragile and how sensitive you are. Uh, this one, the, the tea that I'm drinking right now, it's pretty early. Usually I do it 3 or 4 p.m., but I wanted to do it before the show. But I would say cut it down after 2 or 3 p.m. Don't drink caffeine. Don't this thing keeps you up. Other thing, stop watching TV. A lot of you watch TV and, 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 and the, the, the TV was gone and cause you to stay up as well. Looking at the screens like scrolling down or any kind of Instagram, social media, it's not going to give your brain to calm down. Maybe read a book, take a good bath, drink a protein shake, stay away from the screens. And I experienced this myself, guys. I compared two days. Let me tell you what I did. I did a well, I did actually more of a test. I did for about four to five days. I was actually looking at the screen before I went. I wanted to experience this, looking at the, at the screen before I went to sleep. And when I got up, my brain was weirdly busy. It was not good sleep because instead of calming myself down, I was still thinking what I've seen. And that's not a good way. You want the brain to recover. You want the metabolism to uh, to be raised by drinking a shake, but yet your brain recovers, right? So you can get up in the morning and have a good energy. So avoid any kind of screens. What else you should be doing? A meditation is great to go to sleep. I use the Headspace. Use the Headspace. It's awesome. It's an application. It's an application. I have about 6,600 minutes meditated. And still don't know much because this is a, a, a big subject here. So try this one. And you know what else? It's no light. Keep all the lights possible off because that's going to stimulate your brain too. And turn off your notifications on your phone. Some of you have notifications going through the night. Some people get up in the middle of the night to answer. <laughs> I know both. That's beyond. That's crazy, right? So write it down what you've been doing. Maybe you have a certain ways. I want to scroll and see. Maybe you have a certain ways of certain ways to go into sleep. Maybe your routine is different. I wanted to hear from you. But why this is no excuses? Because again, this leads you to performance. And we all wanted to perform better. And you all want to look better, right? So think about it. What this leads you to. Besides, you tired. What is the reason staying up during the week? Till 11. Some of you work, but let me tell you. If you work at 11 p.m., that means something is not right with your schedule. Either you're overwhelmed, you have too much on your plate, and you need to start delegating to someone. Because you're driving yourself crazy. And I'm not saying that we didn't work much, but at 11 p.m., that's probably time you need to take care of yourself. You need to take care of yourself so you can have less stressful and less anxiety day next day. Because if you're tired 
your performance is gonna not gonna be the same. So that's what we all have to take up to consideration and um and think about it. Like maybe you've been getting sick recently. Like think about all these things that are happening uh, the next day. I'm gonna tell you another important thing. Not only that, you know, your metabolism is gonna be different, but then when you get up the next day, this is like a vicious cycle. And people, if you're not at all aware of this, and a lot of people are not, I know that a lot of women who I coach are not aware of this, because your brain is tired, you searching for more carbohydrates because your brain runs on carbohydrates. So because you're tired, you're going to be eating more carbs. You're going to be prone to more sugary things. And let me tell you, I experienced this. I experienced this as a coach years ago. And then obviously um, I found I found the solution, the scheduling, and also drinking Herbalife shakes, drinking Herbalife tea, and giving myself that good nutrition and it helped a lot. But you would reach for something sweet because your brain, your body is like telling you, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, give me something to, good, right? So what is that one thing you need to do today? Set up that alarm clock on your phone to go to sleep earlier. Give your body recovery that deserves. Don't struggle because I know I've been through this and I want to teach you today to Go to sleep earlier, get up earlier in the morning. You're going to have a higher metabolism. You're going to have less sugar cravings. You're going to have better energy throughout the day. And you, you overall, the well, well-being, your well-being is going to be different. Plus, for those of you who need, you know, scaling to the next level, designing and developing your business, it's the best way to work in the morning when you get up. Imagine getting up 5 or 5.30 and you feel the, the brain is clear. The brain did not is, is not occupied from all this crap throughout the day. Because remember, at night time, why are you tired? Because so many things happen throughout the day, plus the things from the other day. And it's all combined. How are you going to clear that? Meditation, yes. But in the morning, it's all fresh. So you can have a list of the things that you want to attack for the day. Today I'm going to do this. Today I, in the morning, the most three important things. Go kill it. Design, create, agenda. What is on your list? The most important thing that moved the needle. And I guarantee you, the business is going to, you're going to feel better about this. And of course, what else you should do? Hire a coach. Hire someone that will help you with this. Hire someone that will give you the, the tools. Hire someone that will direct you in the right path because we cannot do it alone. It's all well known. So if you need help with anything, if you need help with scheduling, AM routine, PM routine, finding out those little things throughout the day you've been doing wrong and directing you to the right place, send me a message today. And again, for those of you who's going to be super active on the page in April, it's going to be that one thing that I mentioned, but I'm not going to mention again, you need to watch the whole episode. It's not about jumping in and out. It's all about consistency, watching it straight through and send me a message and let's get you set up for something that it's really going to change the direction, right? And make you more clear in life. The clarity, the focus, the clarity, right? Consistency. That's what all, all of us need that. And send me a message, of course, again, thank you guys so much. I see a bunch of you watching here. Tag a person that you think might need. I would love to, I love when you guys really make those notes throughout. When you share with me, uh, I am a creep. I always wave, like Ivanka. I guess she gets that, she got, she gets that from me. And, and let's chat. Let's, let's think about what you've been struggling uh, recently and what we can help you. Is it nutrition? Is it mindset? Is it something else? This show talks about it. Oh, as you see, different topics throughout the week, but they all correlated. So it puts like a whole puzzle eventually together and you're going to have a better picture because sometimes you might Things and information you can hear so many times. You can hear one time, two times, and it's still not going to hit you. You're going to hit the, hear the third time, and then out of nowhere, the information is like, wait a second, I heard this somewhere. I think this person talked about it. I should do it. So sometimes one time is not going to be enough, and I understand. So that's why I always repeat. Send me a message. 
this is OTD, Operate to Dominate Coaching, that it's as highest level of coaching that covers mind, body, and business. And let's do this together. I will talk to you later. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for making and, and submitting the notes. And thank you for your time. And have a no excuses the rest of the week, guys. This is just halfway through the week. I love being with you here every Wednesday. Change the time to 2.15 p.m. Go and kill the rest of your day. I will talk to you soon. No excuses.